I think the, the hybrid piece is going to stay. So even in banking, which is largely on-prem because of the regulatory necessities related to uh, how customer service is delivered, a lot of back-end processes, for example, operations, uh, recruiters, uh, quality assurance, those are areas which are largely becoming data-driven. And once it becomes data-driven, you, you, can, you can use the hybrid part of it. Um, connected work, workforce is also a lot about conversations and how do you manage conversations. So sometimes it's a one-way conversation, sometimes it has a two-way conversation. And you need to build platforms so that you know you can do that perfectly. Uh, in in banking, uh, there there's a second element to it, which is uh, privacy, data privacy, and customer privacy is taken extremely seriously, as you can imagine. So so that's the other part that uh, how do I build effective controls from the IT systems part of it, so that you know uh, my data remains secure and customers are not injured. So that's a, those are the large things that we are doing. So we have done that, and uh, uh, I wouldn't say we are we are like. There, there, but you know, we are getting there. Uh, see, the younger generation is uh, obviously more attuned to it. Foggy is like me, we want everybody around, uh, but uh, we are trying to change ourselves, and therefore, we are trying to change our, uh, I think, the leader mindset a lot, uh, where we are um, working with them and helping them understand the benefits that they also have, like, you know, I think uh, what, what they are seeing in terms of office space, cost control, and stuff like that. Uh, and from the employee standpoint, of course, uh, the productive time that is given to work, that also it become, becomes much more. Uh, so we are overcoming leadership mindset is an issue. And for us, uh, you know, that the part that they talked about related to privacy, that is an awesome issue. So these are three challenges that we are managing in a big way. See, banking as a, as a, as a program, you, you have to constantly upgrade yourself because, you know, the regulations and all uh, the processes that you kind of put in, the digitization journey, the customer onboarding and the customer transaction journey that we are doing, that needs to get upgraded uh, very, very effective. Right? You cannot have misses in this thing. Like, you know, you apply for a forex card and you say, no, no, this cannot happen. This is a, is a big no-no for us, right? So uh, so what, you, what we have done is that we have put a lot of it on our LMS, a lot of it through uh, some of our partners, uh, but yeah, we have a HRMS where you can log in, you, the credit forces assigned to you, the, you can choose your forces. Uh, and as long as I, as I was mentioning, like, you know, you, you, you've created a career journey or a career path uh, for people. So as long as, you know, it's part of that, we, we encourage people to various modes, to, whether for a reward program or whatever have you to, to take up those coaches. And uh, we have been reasonably successful with ours. The, your personal digital uh, part of it, honestly, we we do not try to try to uh, interfere in that because um, I I think the it's important that we maintain uh, the dignity of the individual to that extent. Uh, so as long as there is not anything which is uh, contradictory to the bank's value, so we have a set of buys that that we live by. You know? So so it's customer sensitivity, you know. Uh, pride of performance, ownership, respect for people, and fair and transparent. So as long as, as you're doing anything within those value systems, we are good. Um, do we have a digital break kind of uh, concept? The answer is no. A uh, large part of it, particularly if you're with a hybrid or a remote mode, will have to be uh, done through uh, our, di our digital journey. Um, but yeah, if, if somebody needs help, uh, then we then we obviously have uh, people either in the team or uh, so, in the, so the managers are trained a uh, little bit of HR help to go and then there's an EAP which uh, kind of assists employees to come out. Uh, no, I don't think that's a way at least this can work. You know, in a sustainable manner, um, you will have to trust people. Uh, trust is very like you know why do you bank with anyone? You bank you're parting with your own money. And then you part with your own money only if you trust uh, the institution, right? So trust is a big element of banking. So you have to trust your employee. But yeah, deliverables are also important. So you, so you, so you, what you do is exception management. So as long as you've been with whatever I had to, I had to complete say eight onboardings today. Um, I've been able to do that, and they follow all the norms 
that the regulator and the internal processes are, we are good, right? And, um, you know, we don't try to say, oh, uh, how many have you done till 2 o'clock, what, that 9 o'clock, that, 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 that probably is not going to work. Uh, and I don't think it's right or so, you know, it's just simply, it's simply not right, so.